Analyzing a journal article. Once you have conducted a literature search in various databases, you will have assembled a group of journal articles for possible inclusion in your essay, annotated bibliography, or literature synthesis. Before reading each article, it's useful to orient yourself to the parts of the article to get a sense of what you might expect to read. There are several types of journal articles. Some articles are research reviews in which the authors summarize the empirical research on a topic to date and offer suggestions for further research. Although most journal articles include a literature review of relevant research, research reviews are more in-depth and typically cover more ground. Note that research reviews may at times describe a method of identifying studies to include in the review. However, a research review is not a study per se. Research reviews are a great place to start when learning about a topic, as the key sources are likely to be included in such a review, as long as the review is relatively recent. Some journal articles describe theories based on a synthesis of existing literature. For example, drawing on the literature on resilience and coping, researchers may propose a theory of risk and protective factors from first-generation college students' performance. Theoretical articles are helpful for understanding how topics might fit together and for getting an overview of the topic. Many journal articles are empirical research articles. Empirical means based on data gathered through experience or observation, and in the context of research, it typically refers to studies that have been conducted using the scientific method. In an empirical article, the authors of the article are reporting the results of a study that they themselves have conducted. Empirical articles are the meat and potatoes of research, as they are primary sources, presenting data for anyone to consider and interpret. Empirical studies can be quantitative, meaning that the data are predominantly numeric in nature, such as test scores, or qualitative, meaning that the data are predominantly textual or visual, such as the content of an interview. Empirical studies always include a description of the method used to conduct the study, with descriptions of participants, measures or instruments, procedures, and so forth. Empirical studies will also include a results section, in which the researchers present their analyses of the data collected. One final type of journal article that might be of interest is a letter to the editor. Unlike letters to the editor in a newspaper or magazine, scholarly letters to the editor may advance a theory, provide new data, and or call into question other authors' interpretation of data. Such letters can be helpful for gaining additional perspectives on a topic. Now let's look at the elements of a journal article. Start with the title. Academic works such as journal articles usually have straightforward titles that capture in a few words the main elements of the topic that the article is about. For example, self-esteem, stereotype threat, and math achievement among Hispanic high school students will be about three variables, self-esteem, stereotype threat, and math achievement in a specific population, Hispanic high school students. Although this title doesn't always give you a clue about what type of article it will be, review, theoretical, empirical, etc. Sometimes it does. Next, look at the authors and their affiliation. Typically, the authors will be people associated with academic institutions, universities, and the like. However, sometimes authors are independent or work for a company or organization. Although researchers in academic institutions are certainly not immune to biases, a researcher for a commercial business, such as a drug company or a test publisher, may have a potential conflict of interest that needs to be examined. Keep this in mind when later evaluating the source of the information. The abstract is typically the first element in the article. An abstract is a brief summary of what the article is about. It's a great tool for determining whether an article is or is not what you're looking for. However, it is unacceptable to read only the abstract and cite the source. You should use the abstract as a preview of the article, not in place of the article. Next, the introduction section, sometimes called the introduction or background, introduces the article. It may include the literature review or preface the literature review. If the literature review is separate from the introduction, it will come next and will include a summary of the most relevant studies and other literature on the topic. Although authors may include older studies, for example, more than 10 years old, in a literature review, the majority of studies included should be recent. Otherwise, the conclusions that the authors reach about the state of the research on the topic may be faulty. 
If the article describes an empirical study, the method section will come next. The specific subsections in the method will depend on the journal in which the article is published, but typically include participants, measures or instruments, design, and procedure. We will discuss how to evaluate these elements in subsequent sessions. Following the method will be the results. The results will present the author's summary of their data. It is rare to see raw data, such as individual scores of participants, in a results section, but summary scores, such as means, are often presented for quantitative studies. The results section is sometimes the most challenging section to read, as it can include complex formulas and sophisticated statistical techniques. However, it's helpful to work your way through the results so that you get practice looking for certain information, such as the data analysis methods used and the significance or non-significance of the findings. In qualitative studies, the results section will often read like a story. In both empirical and non-empirical articles, an ending section, called the discussion, conclusion, summary, or something similar, will include a summary of the information presented in the article, a discussion of implications, and typically recommendations, including recommendations for future research on the topic. The references are usually the last element of a journal article. However, sometimes an appendix will include such information as a copy of the instrument developed for the study. Visuals, such as tables and figures, are typically embedded in the text of a journal article, close to the place in the text where they are referred to.